Guys, um, during the night I modified the launch Zakaria script to add new parameters to be able to select the number of balls, the number of players and the game mode. Um, after that it was possible to use my launcher uh, to be able to, to select these values for Pinball X. Um, so I will show you to, to you now. Uh, I will select a table, then I choose play game, then my launcher will pop up and I can select a number of players, for example two players, or I can select a single player game mode. Then the script, the, the, the launcher passes, passes the parameters to the, the launch script and it will automatically this is all the same code from uh, the original script, but I added extra things. And now it should select the game, wait a few seconds, and then select the options. The options should be pre-selected. Classic, see? Player one. Player two. Or I can choose to a, a, a certain game mode. Pinball chair. For example, Lamp Hunter. The, the way the script works is by modifying settings.xml. Uh, Zakaria Pinball remembers all settings you, you did in the screens, and the next time you load it, uh, it's already pre selected. As you will see now, Lamp Hunter should be selected once I press the play button here. I, didn't, I don't press anything. See, Lamp Hunter, and the Lamp Hunter mode is active. Um, in theory, this script should, can also be used with Pinup Popper if you copy the database file from PinballX and the launch script and then use only the launch script without the, the launcher that you saw here and um, add, add the options for the multiplayer uh, stuff. I know this is possible because uh, I've seen it being done with uh, Pinball FX3 so the only difference is, is that you need to use the, the, the launch script to launch the games and add the tables from the Pinball X database in your, uh, in your Peanut Pepper tables settings. As I, I don't use Peanut Pepper, so I don't know how to do that, but I think it should be possible to use the same script to be able to select multiplayer. The script is available on the Pinball X forums but I will post a link um, yeah, in, in, on YouTube below the, in the comments. So I can show one more if you like. Um, oh yeah, it's also important to know uh, the retro tables only have the 90 second mode or the classic mode. They don't have lamp hunter, etc. And you cannot choose that. If you choose a certain game mode with uh, retro tables, it will revert to classic. Um, and also, there is a bug in uh, Zakaria Pinball where it does not remember uh, the 90 second mode in the INI. I've reported this bug to them because it, it resets it to classic mode, as you will see. You should see classic mode will be selected here after the play button was pressed. And I'm not pressing anything myself, the script does it automatically now for you. The script has options to not do that, that you still have to press play yourself here on this screen. You see, classic was selected, so it's a bug in the, in the Zakaria pinball. 
Um, I can also show you that retro tables only have a only have the options of retro. It only has the options for um, for 90 second mode and classic mode. You will see here that the only only classic mode and, and 90 second mode will be enabled and that the other settings will be grayed out. If you select any of those settings, it will revert to classic mode. So have a look here, it will be grayed out in a few seconds. See, grayed out. And it reverted to classic mode. Uh, so yeah, you can select uh, four players, three players, one player. Um, I did not add options to select uh, simulation or uh, arcade or custom game. But if you set it up once and you have a certain preference, the game will remember the last setting used. So you only have to select it once and I have set it to simulation. I always use simulation and then it will use simulation. Um, it should be possible to add the options, but I did not do it in the script. So just to show that four players also work, I selected it. The script does not have to go to send keys for uh, selecting all these settings. It's in, done in the settings XML of the game. You see, player one. Let's launch the ball. Player two. Three. And four. So you see, it works on my system. It's not that hard to set up. So I hope you like it. Have fun.